Hey guys, it's Monica. Thank you so much for coming back. Every time I start a video, my heat cooks on. I'm sorry, you're gonna have to put up with the heat. It's cold in New England. Anyways, um, thank you so much for coming back and joining me. I know I've been not around this last, I think it's been five weeks, I've had two videos. And I know many of you know exactly, you know, what happened, but um, it's been, it, it's been a month since my brother passed away. And I think sometimes when, I mean, no death is easy for sure. And I know many of you understand exactly what I'm going to say, but I, I think sometimes when it's sudden, you, you, you don't have any time to prepare if you ever can for a death, but you don't have any time to really kind of prepare that it's going to happen. You know, like with my dad, I, I, I knew it was going to happen. I just didn't know the when basically with my brother, you know, a sudden death of someone that hadn't, you know, been in the hospital that you, you know, that you weren't visiting in the hospital thinking, Oh my gosh, you know, any moment, right? A sudden death like that. And it just, it just throws you, so much for a loop. So I've been, I've been super, um, super busy trying to, you know, take care of his property, his estate, and just settling all of his, because he didn't have a family. You know, he didn't have a wife. He didn't have children. Um, he just had us. He just had my sister, myself, my mom, and our family, you know, nieces and nephews. So just our immediate family was all he had. I did have a core group of friends, but it's been it's been difficult. So first of all, I just wanted to say thank you to those of you that have reached out and checked up on me and sent me cards. It's just you guys have been awesome. Thank you so much. So I did say that I was gonna come back, try to get back in a routine and a schedule, and really haven't done too well with that. However, um, there's a couple of things I definitely want to talk about. I mentioned in one of my, I don't know, two or three videos ago, we were preparing for a wedding. And the, the wedding was actually a week after my brother's funeral services because everything happened about that same time. So we were preparing for a family wedding and I was like super excited. I had gotten this mirror that I actually talked about, but I'll show it again. Um, this mirror is Kiss My Lash and um, Good Jane's. I've, I really like this mirror. Um, anyways, I had gotten this mirror and I was going to, for the wedding, it just, it just amazes me how well you can see your eyes when you look in this mirror. It's just, it's incredible. But anyways, for the wedding, I was going to be doing, uh, false eyelashes and I was going to show you how I applied them in the mirror. Well, I ended up buying false eyelashes. I ended up buying a set of six, which I have not yet opened. And um, then I had also got some magnetic ones, a uh, water activated lash band, um, which I have not opened. And then I ended up getting some glue, which I have not opened. So um, long story short, I'm still gonna try to do false eyelashes, but you know, in that preparation, the week before the wedding, I just was like, you know, dealing with everything with my bra brother and, his um, memorial service, not his, his funeral service. I'm gonna superimpose his um, slideshow that I did for anyone that is interested. It's it's um, un unlisted, so if you want, you can still see it. I believe I'll I'll link it. But anyways, um, so preparing for that, I never got to play with the false eyelashes, and so what I did instead, and I'm gonna superimpose a couple of pictures probably as I talk. But what I did instead for the wedding was I decided I had received, and this was from the Octoly Network, and I had received it and like I'm on the tail end. I requested an extension because I thought I was going to demo, show it and all of that, but then, you know, life had, had um, a different plan for me. So instead of the false eyelashes and instead of really doing a great big demo on the 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 beauty counter this is think a big all-in-one mascara clean beauty just got bigger sorry just got bolder 
So this was sent to me complimentary from Beauty Counter via the Octoly Network so that I could try it. Well, you know, I'm a, I'm a real mascara person because I don't wear the false eyelashes and I didn't for the wedding. So I had been using this, just hadn't had a chance to review it. But on the wedding, because I didn't want to mess with the false eyelashes, I was afraid, you know, when you wear it for the first time, like one would be off or one would be on my cheek and I wouldn't know it. So I was like really afraid of all that. So I ended up the week before, every time I put mascara on, I use this. And I'll tell you, I really like it. Now, I know some of you are going to say, you know, hey, mascara that's pricey and all that. Um, but uh, I'll tell you, it is, it says, here's, here's what it says. Obsessively clean mascara that achieves the, uh, achieves the ultimate lift, length, and volume without any potential harmful ingredients. Supports longer lashes, stronger lashes, thanks to the tripeptide technology. I'll tell you, this was so super easy to apply. It's not waterproof, but it's smudge proof. And I, love, I mean, the application is just really beautiful. Now, I am super surprised at how much I actually liked this mascara. It's what I have on today, and it's what I've had on pretty well all week, and it's what I wore in the wedding. I'm going to superimpose some photos here. So I had this on in the wedding. I had to do the um, the blessing, so I started to tear up a little bit, you know, doing the blessing, and but my my mascara held up, so smudge proof, um, long lasting. It's twenty seven dollars. Uh, this has got it's black. It's got a black pigment, but it doesn't have any of that carbon black, you know, the harmful potentially harmful ingredients. So I really really like this mascara a lot. I love the application. I actually love the wand. It is clean and I don't want to keep playing with it, but it's just really is nice. It's a nice, nice presentation and it says think big, not dirty. Yeah, I would definitely agree. Think big. So this gave me super length, easy to apply. I didn't have to dip over and over again to, to get the mascara out. I dipped once in one eye, the other one in the other eye, and that's really all I needed. And like I said, smudge proof, long lasting. This was definitely a hit for me. And I'll link all their information. It, it held up through some emotional times that I've had in the last couple of weeks. So lots of benefits to the mascara. And it came because it's smudge proof not waterproof. It came off super, super easy. I don't want to have to tug at my lashes. I use an eyelash serum to try to get lashes. I don't want to tug at them and have them come off. So I, I really liked it. The other thing that I received via the Octoly Network from MD Solar Sciences, and I've talked about this brand before. I actually have had a number of their products before, some that I bought. I like their, their sun care products. Um, they've got some really good stuff. Well, this I looked at from the Octoly and I requested it. So this was sent to me complimentary from MD, MD Solar Sciences via the Octoly Network. And this is a wash away one step cleanser. I'm always skeptical. I'm like, okay, one step. It doesn't work with me with mascara usually, but one step. So what you do with this, this took, this took all of my all of my sunblock off, all of the buildup off of my skin. I really liked it. It is something that you can you use on dry skin. It is a foaming oil, which is really cool. So you have to be super careful. You don't want to put a whole lot in your hand, just a little bit. And they recommend dry skin and you massage it in. And you can use it right on your eyelashes if you want, however you want to do it. If you want to take your mascara off separately beforehand, go right ahead. Then you massage it in, get a little bit of water, and you just, it foams up. But it's a really nice, nice foam. So I think for me, I'll go back to the descriptions. Um, I think for me, the, the ingredients on here, especially for my dry skin, is super, super nice. It says it's developed by dermatologists, made in small batches. They never use ingredients that can harm the environment or harm people, which I thought was really cool. Um, and they have, I think, the best, I mean, SPF they do in most of their skincare and most of the product line that I've tried. It's absolutely the best. Need 
a way to remove your makeup and mineral SPF without stripping your skin. This is sulfate-free, low-foam oil cleanser. I love oil cleansers that gently exfoliates as it washes away all the makeup and impurities and the sunscreens and all that. It cleans your pores. It doesn't really strip out any, any, um, anything at all. I really like it. The ingredients, Promagan, cranberry, green tea, vitamin C, a whole bunch of different ingredients. I think this is the one where I have, yes, there's a 15% off coupon. I don't know how long it's good for, but 15% off gift 15. It retails for $17. And I would pay $17, uh, especially with the 15% off, because I've used this a number of times and you use such a little amount, I believe this is going to last a really long time. Now, I tend to date my products just so I can really see how long they last. But I think that's going to last a super long time. I really I really do. So that's been awesome for removing your makeup. And I don't know, I wear so much sunblock that for me anyways, when you wear a lot of sunblock, it's really hard to get the sunblock off. Now this... I know I've heard many people talk about this, and um, I was kind of like really thrilled. This is Dossier. This is the, I think I'm saying it right, Dossier perfume. When they reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to try some of their perfumes, I was sort of like, you know, I don't know because I'm really fussy on perfumes. So they sent me two bottles, and uh, I'll tell you, I was pleasantly surprised. So when I used the when I opened it up, it does have, it's a spray. You have to, don't press it hard. Just lightly, just lightly. A little goes a long way. This is super, the application is nice. It's kind of like the cap. I think that's awesome. So they sent me two. And of course, these are inspired by high-end perfumes. And this one is Amberry Saffron, Saffron, Saffron. And um, really nice. And then I have another one that is inspired by the, um, and I actually have a sample of it, and I actually did compare it to Black Gohan by uh, YSL. So this one is inspired on that. I wore this a couple of days ago, and Jay said, you smell really good. <laughs> so that passed the Jay sniff test. The, the other things, you know, this, this past couple of weeks has been crazy, but I did indulge in a buying myself, and I'm not going to really talk much about it, but I did indulge in buying myself a palette. And this is the Viseat. This is the Violet. And I really like this palette. I, I love Viseat. That's my all-time favorite. I love my Viseat palettes. Um, and, and my Amethyst has been my all-time favorite palette on Viseat for a long time. I was having a hard time finding it. And Mary Glitzy Fritzy had sent me, with, among other things, in a little care package. She sent me hers, gently used. And I was thrilled because these are and have been my favorite. I kind of gravitate to... The violets, the pinks, um, sort of more the lighter shades on my eyes. Maybe as I get better with applying it, I'll do a little bit better. I don't know. But right now, I do gravitate on the lighter shades. And I just, I love this ear because you know what? When I put it on, I can build it up. I don't have to put it on. Like, I've got an Urban Decay palette that I love. But when I put it on, I usually have to take part of it off, right? Because it's so heavily pigmented that you have to have a super, super light application to get it on. So with the Viseat, the colors that I like, now they do have the dark browns and I have some of those too. But with my overall colors that I like, I can get a nice overall look and then I can use a lighter shade for in my crease, a little bit of a darker shade for the outer V. Um, and then I can just glitz it up. You know, I kind of like take some of the shimmery things and I put the shimmery in. I just kind of, I'm a layer person. I think that's what it is. So that's really about it. I don't have a whole lot. I am going to do a favorites video. We did get our e-bikes. I think I mentioned the e-bikes. We did get our e-bikes. And I just, was it last week, hit my 100 mile mark. I'm going to superimpose a photo so you can see that. We went on a trail and the trail was absolutely, it's a, it's a trail, We it, part, a little tiny, little, little bit of it is in New Hampshire, the majority of it is in Massachusetts. 
So we went and we found the trailhead where we could put in. There's a couple of different places you could, but they're not really well marked. I think people like to keep the trails a secret. So we found and we put in right on the Newburyport, Salisbury, Massachusetts line. We put our bikes in and we drove all the way to the New Hampshire border. And then we went down and back. And then we went down another trail that they call it the ghost trail, which was kind of spooky, right? The ghost trail. And that brings you out in Amesbury Port by the river. We didn't go out to the river because we were running out of time and it was getting later in the afternoon. And I did not want to be out on the trails at night. So um, we almost got to the river. We might repeat that tomorrow. And then we turned around and we came back. Well, on my leg back on the ghost trail of all places, I hit my 100 mile mark on my, my bike. I have a pedigo and you get a five year warranty. So I have a 100 mile checkup coming up. And it's a big deal. So you're going to bring your bike in and have it serviced and all that stuff. And uh, so I hit I hit the 100 miles on my pedigo. I have a boomerang, they call it, which is a very low step through. And most of the time, a lot of times, I pedal that bike with zero assist. It's an electric bike, but most electric bikes have a adjustment. So you can you can turn it on, so to speak, and you can increase to one. Mine goes up to five. Five would be, the say, the max speed of 20 miles an hour. I've not done five yet. Um, but if you keep it in zero, you're just pedaling, and that's what I did most of that ride. I was in zero. Uh, on the way back, as we were getting tired, I was very, very happy to have one and two and my little throttle um, to give that a twist, but oh my gosh, we love our e-bikes. They were expensive, but we both agreed that this was an investment into us, right, into potentially getting back healthy because we both like riding bikes. We were both avid bike riders all the time. And then I fall, I had fallen off of mine and Jay had a hard time with his hip issue. So the e-bike, low entry, low step through entry was the perfect solution to get us back out there riding the bike on the streets and the trails, maybe up in Bar Harbor, maybe wherever. But riding the bike and working on health in a way that we could maneuver. So most people that have real health mobility issues are like, their, their whole world is opening up now that they have discovered e-bikes, right? They have these mobility issues, sometimes knees, sometimes back, sometimes whatever it is. And they're able to ride on e-bikes and get out there and be part of the world, explore a little bit, get some exercise. It's been huge for so many people, which, Jay and I did not know that. We did not have any clue that it was that huge of a, a thing, e-bikes, when we bought ours. We didn't realize it would be on back wear and stuff like that, but we did get it. So we got that and, you know, and we really, really like it, really like it. And uh, I think other than just, you know, working on family, working on that emotional, because it's been a very up and down, it's been a very up and down month, five weeks, actually five weeks. It's been a very, very emotional five weeks from the high of a wedding and being happy about that to, you know, from the low of a death and then trying to, you know, get into a wedding festive mode and, um, and then dealing with my brother's property, his condo that he lives in and his belongings. And these are things that you don't, I don't think about now. I'm thinking like, yeah, if something happened to me, my kids are going to have to come in here and know, I, I, you know. So, yeah, we've been working on downsizing anyways for a couple of years now, but slowly. So now I think we're going to kick that up into high gear and downsize a little bit more. <laughs> anyways, um, I think I covered everything I really wanted to hit in this video. I, If you guys are interested, or even if you're not, I'm going to do a separate bike thing. Um, maybe talk about my bike because I really love my e-bike and I really think that health-wise it's a huge, huge benefit, especially for anyone with mobility issues. I'll probably do it in a separate video and uh, you guys don't have to watch it at all. But if anyone is super interested, let me know in the comments below. Or if you have an e-bike or if you've ever, you know, even entertained getting one. And um, I know I mentioned in a previous, I don't know when it was, months ago, that um, Jay and I are going to do a European trip if everything works out. We we're planning on going to Germany. And there's a whole backstory on that. You know, Jerry was adopted from Germany and we found his family. It's a whole bunch of different things. But one of the things that we were looking at is um, maybe doing a river cruise. And they call it a barge and bike 
a barge and bike, a barge and bike. This sounds not really cool. So that's one of the things that we're thinking about doing. I don't know yet. But anyways, I'm rambling. Blah, blah, blah. blah. Monica's rambling. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Thank you so much for coming back, watching, and please leave me a comment. I appreciate every single one of you. All your messages, all your messages these, this last five weeks have just been hot warming. Thank you. Love to you all, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.